What is up everyone? This is Karan here. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. You have just unlocked your device bootloader and installed a custom recovery and want to root your device and just take a full benefit of your device. How you can do that? I'm gonna share with you how you can install Magisk on your device, how you can uninstall the Magisk if you are not happy, how to install modules and everything else in this video. Make sure to watch this video till the end to understand everything. If you miss anything, I am I am not responsible for anything happened to your device. Just make sure a proper backup. You should have some knowledge of what you're doing on your device now. Let's Okay, as I already told you, you just need unlocked bootloader of your device and a custom recovery installed, maybe TWRP, Orange Fox or any other custom recovery which you have installed on your device. And then you need these three files, Magisk Uninstaller, Magisk 20.4, whichever is the latest one and Magisk.apk. First of all, what you have to do is you just have to install this APK file. Actually, I have already installed it. So that's why it is just showing me that I want to install this update or not. And this one is latest Magisk Manager 7.5.1 as I have already installed it. So what we are going to right now is we're just going to boot into custom recovery. Make sure you have a TWRP or Orange Fox or Pitch Black or whatever custom recovery installed on a device. Now let's move on to okay guys so we are just booted into custom recovery as i already told you make sure you have a twrp or orange fox custom recovery or whatever custom recovery you should have installed i have orange fox custom recovery installed on my device just locate the location where you have downloaded the magisk i have here which is magisk 20.4 the latest one click this one and now click on swipe to install it will take some time to install so just be patient and make sure you have a proper backup of your android device because installing magisk sometime can cause a boot loop and sometimes your device could be bricked so make sure to have proper backup because if it is not compatible then you would lose your all the data maybe your device too it's good and sometimes it's just worse for all of you guys so as you can see we have just installed it we don't need to do anything some need to do wipe catch if you want to you can do that but it's not compulsory you can simply reboot system and let's check out we have just rooted our android device okay so as you can see we have just booted and now we have magisk installed the latest magisk 20.4 which we just installed the zip and we are now rooted when you go to advanced settings you have these kind of options recovery mode preserve dm verity preserve force encryption if you are a noob and just a new buy into the terms of routing i just recommend you not to use these kind of things these kind of just for advanced users for who just know what they are doing and these kind of things and now at last we have the tab to start safety net status if you check out this if you have green let me just show you checking safety net status like this if you have green text like cts profile true basic integrity is true which means your device google play protect is now certified which means you can use the banking apps without having any issues if you have the cross options here you may try to use the magisk 20.3 and if still has some issues and not able to use banking apps how you can use that simply move here here have some lot of things first of all we have the super user which means whichever app will require the root it will tell you here you just need to grant super user permission to that app which means that app is requiring the root access from your device i think you already know about how to give the root access you should not be the noob one here when you go to module section here you have the option to install modules if you have any in my case i just try to install the youtube vance magisk module how you can do that click on plus icon here and then just find out the module which you want to install so in my case i'm going to install a deblotter if you don't know what is the deblotter magisk module i already made a video on that you can go and check it out click this one it will take some time to install as you can see powered by magisk it will ask you to reboot your device just don't reboot go back and now refresh it as you can see it's done after that what you have to do is you just have to reboot your device then the module will be installed but i'm not gonna do that if you want to check out how you can install modules and uninstall modules you can check out a lot of videos and i already made a video on that a lot of times so i'm not gonna share with you that one too when you go to downloads here you can download any module for your device if it is compatible then it will work for you and make sure you do only those things in which you have knowledge 
if you're doing the things which are not knowledgeable for you i recommend you not to do anything bad here because that can cause break and some things which you cannot even recover after that so be careful in whatever thing you are doing here move on to log here you will get the log whichever logs you are getting like we have just installed these kind of things apk and as you can see it has just started some scripts and mounting mirrors it's just a log what it did till now on your device if you check out the super user no app still now required the super user access from our device that's why we have blank log here and go to settings you have the dark theme option you can customize the language you can clear the repo cache if you want to but these things Okay, so other settings include the systemless host, enable biometric authentication. If you enable this feature, which means whenever an app will require the root access, it will not ask, it will not give you the accept or deny option, grant or deny option. Actually, you will just need to use your fingerprint to grant the permission. This is kind of a great thing. You can choose super user access option, multi user, like only owner as the root access, device owner manage, or user independent. It, these are some advanced settings which a normal user should not try it out you just need magic manager some modules and these kind of things after installing this if you are in the mood of uninstalling that how you can uninstall that you can simply click here to uninstall it also but i'm going to share with you another method so what you need is you need the uninstall zip file as i already shown you some time ago just go here and here we need this magisk uninstaller.zip i'll provide you the link in the description make sure you have downloaded these all files just open this not open this just download this and just boot into recovery and flash okay so we are now booted into custom recovery once again go to the download section we have just downloaded a magisk uninstaller version click this one it will ask you to swipe to install it's quite easy to install and uninstall the magisk from your device and as you can see magisk uninstaller started it will automatically restore everything which it did it at the previous time at the starting time and as you can see it's successful which means we have just unrooted our device we have just uninstalled the magisk all the modules everything uh, just go on and this is how you can install or uninstall the magisk on your device I hope you understood this was very quite easy and quite simple guide about the magisk. This was all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel and also hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day.